Next, you can see the steps involved in electrical designing. So as electrical designer, okay, how we are going to initiate our work, how we are going to work for the project. The first thing is to find out the total connected load. As I have told you. Morning. Yes, Mr. Runesh. Uh, sir, uh, firstly, I will mean only for uh, uh, building uh, uh, electrical designing or or, uh, or all of the uh, substation designing is included. No, no, we are working with the low tension area, not the high tension area. The secondary side oh. of transformer, whatever we are having from the secondary side of transformer, we are going to work for that area. It can be any project, it can be commercial, it can be residential, it can be domestic. But we are working with the oh. secondary side, I think, but the low tension side, not the high tension but, side. Uh, yeah, you will, uh, you will training on a for uh, panel, electrical panel designing? Only distribution boards. Only it, can distribution be, board. it can be main distribution board, sub main distribution board, or your. But this is distribution. a building distribution board, no? Exactly. Exactly. Only for this course is for the building the designing, building exactly. electrical design. Exactly. In building, whatever is needed as for the type of project we are going to propose. For example, okay, you need the MCC panel. You're not going to propose that. You're going to propose the size of machine. By default, the manufacturer will give you the MCC panel. So, so you will not uh, learn uh, MCC panel. We are going to work with MCC, but we are not going to configure the MCC panel. So now you can see, okay, the first thing to work for any project is to find out the total connected load. Okay, to find out the total connected load, especially in the European countries or in the Western countries, we are going to work in terms of KVA. And in many of the Asian countries, we, we are going to work in terms of kilowatts. Anyhow, we can able to convert from kilowatt to KVA, KVA to kilowatt. That is not a big problem. So never get confused between the units KVA as well as the Kilowatt. So as it sir, continue, sir, sir, this VA is also this is also is equal to watts. So why people wrote like this sometimes kilowatts or KVA? I mean, exactly. What is the reason? Exactly. Logic. Uh, this I am going to explain you in the chapter because two. the formula of power is current into voltage V into I. This yes. is the basics I know a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. See, basically, Mr. Fahad. Okay, we have two different types of power. Just now I've told you that we have the active power and the apparent power. In the active power, we have VI cos phi. In the apparent power, we have VI. Especially the equipments which are going to consume the power, those things are going to be elaborated in terms of kilowatt. And the equipments which are going to provide the supply, those things we are going to okay mention going to be mentioned in terms of KBA. About this brief clarifications, we are going to propose in chapter two along with some examples. Okay, okay. Yani, there is a logic behind this. Yani. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Next, talking about single line diagram or one line diagram. So, in different different countries, the other term called as one line diagram, OLD. So, never get confused with both the things. So, what is meant by single line diagram? The schematic flow of power icons. Next, we are going to work with the lighting fixtures. This is a very, very important area and a very vast area, I can say. Okay, this will take the maximum amount of time when you're going to work for any project. Okay, so here we need the lumen output value from the lamp. We need the lux level. We need the color render, uh, rendering index values. We're going to work with the maintenance factors. Then only we are going to propose the lighting fixture. Okay, so this is the time taking part for any electrical design area. Next, we have the sockets. We have different, different types of sockets. Like we have the normal socket, power socket, industrial socket. Based upon the ampere rating, we are going to classify. And based upon the type of load, we are going to propose post this. Next, we are going to provide the supply to the lighting load, to the raw power load, or to any mechanical load by using a transformer. So we are going to propose a transformer based upon the total connected load of the building. This is the main heart okay, of the complete project. Then again, okay, in case of emergencies, we need a backup. That is nothing but a diesel generator. So we are going to use the diesel generator, especially for the emergency loads. Again, we have the UPS sizing. If you're working with projects or if you're working with corporate offices, like your banks, IT sectors, there we are going to propose the UPS also and the interruptible power supply. So here, based upon the backup amount of time, we are going to propose the battery. Again, circuit breaker sizing, very important area. Okay, to safeguard the complete system and the design, we need the circuit breaker. So this circuit breaker, we are going to calculate based upon the load current value and the safety factors. Again, we have the cable sizing. This is also a very vast and very detailed calculation area. In this first, we are going to understand the type of conductor required. 
Then again, we are going to select the insulation level. Then again, based upon the manufacturing data, the resistance value, we are going to propose the cable. Once when you propose the cable, again, we are going to justify by using the voltage drop calculation, the short circuit calculation, again, the tripping time calculation. So once when you propose, we are going to work with voltage drop, short circuit and tripping time. Like for example, I'm going to send some amount of voltage. It is not compulsory that you're going to receive the same amount of voltage definitely you'll be finding some drop like i'm sending some 230 after 25 meters you may not get the same 230 because of some internal losses so we are going to check that again short circuit okay, like uh, sometimes what happens because of insulation failures especially we are going to get some excess amount of current which is called as a short circuit again the tripping time the circuit breaker which we have proposed we are going to adjust the time also for that like i'm having this much amount of fault so in this amount of time it has to trip that also we are going to propose next we have the main background and the main bag backbone of the design nothing but called as the load balancing sheet so here we are going to balance the load equally among all the three phases again we have the capacitor bank sizing to maintain to enhance to improve the power factor okay again the earthing to provide the safety we are going to maintain the earth resistance value and we are going to propose a number of earthing pits sometimes we are working with the hilly area or any kind of coastal areas there is a chance that there can be the lightning strikes on your project so we are going to propose the lightning arrestor also okay which is not required in every project in the bus bar sizing if we have some enough or more amount of current carrying capacities instead of going with cables we go with the bus bar ducts or bus bar chambers again cable tray we are going to propose if we have some big size of cables this is the actual procedure if you're going to work for any project, any MEP area. I hope sir, what, sir, what is bus bar? Bus bar, bus bus bar, bar is filing. actually bus bar is actually a metallic conductor. Okay, it is made up of a copper, it is made up of aluminium, even the galvanized iron also. Instead of using a cable, and where, use what a is the use application? To connect multiple cables at one segment. Okay, okay, okay. If you want to connect multiple cables at one end, we need a bus bar. You cannot join multiple cables at one side without using a bus bar. Okay, okay. I'll be showing you the images and all those. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, will we be learning about electrical panels like EMSP, MCC, the starter panels, uh, the basic uh, ideas of MCB or MCCB? I didn't get your voice actually. EMSB, uh, EMCC, and all these kind of panels. We, uh, we are going to propose the panels, but we are not going to configure the panels. There is much difference uh, in the proposal yeah, yeah. as well as I the configuration. Just, yeah, but we. I, I just want to learn about the panels, like how will it work and all these. Like definitely, will definitely. Be, yeah, definitely. okay. And the starter panels, types of starters and all. Definitely, in the chapter 7, we have that. Next, you can see along with some brief images, I'm going to elaborate the total connected load. Whenever you're working with any projects, I'm not going for the commercial projects. When you're working with small villas or any kind of residential buildings or any commercial projects also, what is the basic loads we have? Nothing but the lights, fans. We are using some electronic gadgets and electrical appliances. So we need the sockets. We have power socket. We have normal socket. And we need the air conditioning. It can be the split or it can be your window so when you when you're going to club all these things we're going to get the total same like that if you're going to work for any commercial projects when you're going to add the mechanical loads when you're going to add the plumbing and firefighting that will define the complete total connected load so based upon that we are going to propose the single line diagram you can see this is a small single line diagram where i have got six feeders so in this single line diagram you can able to understand the complete scope like i can say that in this project i got 1000 kv of transformer and the feeder one is a point of supply feeder two is a secondary side okay so from here we have got a, almost like 200 kilowatts of load to run this 200 kilowatts of load i have proposed a 300 square mm of cable again here for 70 kilowatts i have proposed 70 square mm for 20 i have proposed 6 square mm again for feeder 6 we have got 800 watts so here i have proposed 2.5 square mm of cable so in simple words i can say that by means of single line diagram we can able to understand the complete outline and the scope of project next talking about the transformer current transformer and the potential transformer so already i have told you that we require a transformer okay to maintain the frequency as well as to step down the amount of voltage 
and to measure the amount of current, we need current transformer. Anyhow, we have the ammeter, multimeter, clammeter to measure the amount of current, but these devices can able to measure some little amount of current. But if you're having some current capacity, something like 1000 ampere, cannot measure the current with these devices. We need the current transformers and potential transformers. Next, talking about the generators. So in case of emergencies, we are going to use the diesel generators. Again, the UPS and battery, when you're working with commercial projects, especially the corporate offices, definitely we need the UPS. Along with the main supply from Transama, we are going to use one more supply called as UPS or battery supply. Again, the power cable sizing, we have different, different types of cable. We are going to propose a cable based upon the load, like what type of conductor, the insulation, armor, unarmored, how many number of cores, what type of cable medium, like flat cable, front cable, everything we are going to. Propose. Again, talking about the circuit breakers, as I have told you, we have different, different types of circuit breakers. Again, in this types, we have some classifications, okay, based upon the load, like we have the single pole, double pole or dual pole. We have three pole. Again, we have four pole and type of circuit breaker and curve of circuit breaker is also very very important all those things we are going to propose next talking about capacitor bank enhance or to maintain the power factor we are going to use a capacitor bank next the earth pit okay so we are going to work with the traditional concept to find out the earth resistance value and to find out the number of earthing pits different different countries will have some different different standards so based upon that you are going to work for the earthing and this is very very important area if you are not satisfying the earthing range so you will never get the approval for your product in the bus bar sizing so you can see mr fahad these are the bus bars so if you want to net some multiple cables at one point we are going to use a bus bar this can be of copper this can be of your okay, aluminium okay, okay. or even yeah, galvanized thought insulation especially we have a bus bar again talking about lightning arrest if you're working with high-rise buildings or if you're working with projects like petrol stations or if you're having any kind of solar panels boilers chillers installed on the off of the on the top or top of the roof in that case we require the lightning arrestor also for the safety of the building because all these things may attract lightning sir. especially in the rainy condition yeah mr further sir can you go back to the bus bar yes please slide right? yes the picture yes mr Fahad. Yeah, yeah sir i have i can see this one plate what is the usage of this is there are multiple screws yes yes multiple cables for example this is the r phase i phase b this, phase that's what this is the r phase this is the y phase b phase and this is a neutral for me so in our phase, for example, oh, I'm, I'm going it. to connect the six feeders. So all the six feeders will come from here. It will be connected to your bus bar by means of lux. Sir, what is power factor? You told us in capacitor bank to enhance or maintain a power factor. What is yes. that? Power factor will define the cosine angle between the voltage and current. We have th three different types of loads. Like we have the resistive load, inductive load, and the capacitive load. The power factor will differ from all these three. So we are going to see that the voltage and current should follow the same path. There should be no kind of lag nor leak. So that can be achieved with a good resistive load or by connecting the capacitors to maintain the power factor. I'll explain you in the first class, nothing but in the first chapter. Okay. okay. Next, talking about cable trays. So basically, we have two different types of cable trays only. One is a perforated type, one is a ladder type. So based upon the number of cables, based upon the cable area and the width, we are going to propose all these things. 